What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction and we got another British comedian, Mr. Rod Gilbert Luggage Seed. I got this video from the uh, link in the description section where you can go make requests. Um, so we'll see how good it is with what we do. If you happen to enjoy, don't forget to smash subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Rod, take it away. I thought, I, as I said, I thought I would, I thought I would tell you a story. The story involves uh, a trip. I've told this story many times uh, all over the okay. world, and everywhere I've told it, I have blamed a different airline. <laughs> <laughs> Out of necessity, you see, because you have to make uh, the, the material relevant, the story relevant to the audience in I'm front terrible. of you. So every, I've told it in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, America, I have blamed every airline under the sun. Uh, <laughs> I've even blamed Crab Air. <laughs> I've even blamed the RAF. <laughs> <laughs> he said I even blamed the RAF, it's crazy. But the story, the true story happened on a flight to Dublin some years ago with an airline that I can't name for legal reasons, but which for the purposes of giving them a name we will call Brian Air. <laughs> Is that a real airline? It's uh, thinly veiled, I admit. I'm Welsh, I was going abroad. I was going to Dublin. I, have you ever been abroad? But I was excited. I bought shorts. <laughs> T-shirts, sunglasses. They don't even sell them in Wales. I had to go to Bristol to buy them. <laughs> I was excited about going abroad and then I bought myself a brand new suitcase. One of the posh ones with the wheels and the handle and then I flew to Dublin with Brian Radier. <laughs> and I will show you what I found when I arrived in Dublin airport just a few hours later. <laughs> no way, no, no, no freaking way. This, I would be absolutely gutted. I'd be upset, mad. Somebody be getting my wrath. Don't know who be getting it. Somebody's gonna get this wrath because ain't no way on earth this is all I found out of my luck. No, no, and no. I get the last laugh. It still works. <laughs> you can see where some hilarious Brian Air baggage handlers put a heavy label on that look. <laughs> Bend your knees is the advice to anybody picking that up. <laughs> Assisted lift may be required, it says. <laughs> I'm not gonna listen, I'm not an idiot. The flight was about 9.99. I wasn't expecting miracles, and if I'm completely honest with you, the first three times this went round the baggage carousel, I laughed. <laughs> everybody laughed the first three times. There was a little, the other passengers, the crew, everybody was having a great time, and then one by one, they pissed off. <laughs> it's just me and this. I took this to the, I took this to the desk. We'll sort this out, we'll sort this out. Yeah, I somebody, wanna... somebody gonna tell me where my god dang luggage is, bro. Somebody gonna sort this out. I, I, not mad, tell me where my luggage is. up against, there's a girl on the desk, looks at me, no hint of irony. She says, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> I said, mainly it's about my luggage. <laughs> she said, is that not it? <laughs> I said, this is some of it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled to get this back. <laughs> the thing is, I'm here for a month. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I packed more than this. <laughs> she had the nerve to ask me those questions that they ask you. I've heard these questions all over the world. They're normally perfectly sensible questions, but there was no need for it. She said, could anybody have interfered with it? <laughs> said, Obviously. Obviously, I mean, somebody did. You probably shouldn't rule that out. She said, have you left it unattended at any point? I said, I suppose I must have, yes. I'm not the most observant person in the world, but this had happened while I was wheeling it through Dublin Airport. I think even I'd have noticed. Surely it would have gone very light very quickly. So did you pack it yourself? I thought, why, what are you suggesting? You think my mum packed for me and thought this is all I'd need? 
said, we'll do a report, mister. We'll do an official, Brian, eh? We'll soon have your luggage back, don't you worry. We'll do an official report. I thought, good, do your report. This is progress. When Katie it was all going quite well until about question three or four. Uh, she, she took my name, she took my address. Uh, and then she said, does your luggage have any distinguishing features, Mr. Gilbert? <laughs> it's got one of them long black handles, if that's any use. And she wrote that down. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian in Ireland, and they? they all think they're so bloody hilarious. Do we have any Irish people in tonight? Hey. Yeah, you all think you're hilarious. The taxi drivers, they're the worst, aren't they? Because I, I walked from, from the, what do you call it? Airport. <laughs> <laughs> I walked from the, what do you call it? The air, how you forget, how you forget the airport? <laughs> To the taxi rank outside. I said, normal three or four taxis there. And bear in mind, when I walked out with this, I didn't have a five minute story to tell. I just had 22 kilograms of missing shit. <laughs> I wasn't looking too happy, you know, but the taxi driver saw his eyes lit up. <laughs> so predictable. You could see what he was going to do. Practically leapt out of his Popped car. He stormed round to the back. You could see exactly what he was going to do. Yeah, pops open the <laughs> boot, the little shit. <laughs> Wit. He says, do you want a hand with that? I said, no, thank you. I think I can manage. I said, if you really want to help, you can take the trolley back. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely lovely. Thank you very, very oh much. Oh, my God. Me. Each and every one of you, I thank you so, so oh. much. It's been wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed myself. Thank you very, 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 very much. That was such a great story for Rod Gilbert. Uh, definitely, <laughs> yeah, somebody would have caught my wrath that day. But that's all we have. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the next one. See you guys next time.